race on a championship circuit. These days, you either have to be a relative of Bernie Eccleston or be very, very wealthy. But there is a way where you can compete and where blood ties and obscene bank balances aren't necessary. This is low-cost racing, a sort of DIY branch of motorsport. Apart from the chassis, you build the car yourself from bits of old Fords. And to keep the racing close, everybody has to use the same 1300cc engine. As you might have guessed, low cost, spelt L-O cost, means cheap motorsport. Now, when the series started back in 1999, the main aim was to build and race a car for under a grand. Three years on, some people are trying to remain faithful to the original estimate, while others have loosened, if not lost, their purse strings altogether. During our day at Brands Hatch, we met people who had lost the plot completely, spending as much as six grand just building their low-cost racer. But it is possible to build and race a car at this level for about £4,000, which really is tiddly nut and bolt money in the diamond-encrusted world of motorsport. Helen, how did you get into all of this? Um, through my father. He's raced as a young man, so and he's always wanted myself and my sister to get involved in it, and, and so we have. My father built his car first, so we had a platform to work on, and then we built mine as well. Uh, it took about three months. What was it like to actually build it? Brilliant. I've had to learn welding, cutting steel, everything, obviously building an engine, so it's been really, brilliant, really, really good. Now, I'm in awe of you for doing that. <laughs> Now, I could raise a few quid, rifle a scrapyard and get my spanners out, but frankly, I'm the sort of girl who prefers her nuts ready tightened. Yes, I've been lucky enough to find a youthful male who's race prepped this car just for me. Tim, this looks more like a Lotus 7 than something you've knocked up on your mum's kitchen day rope. Well, it's had a little bit more development than that. Mm. That's just because the series has been around for a while. Um, but basically, if you've got a Mark II Escort engine, Ford Cortina uprights and a Sierra gearbox, you got just about everything to build a car. Was it fun to build? A lot of fun. Was it? It's as much fun as it is to drive. Seriously? Yeah. Because I couldn't think anything worse than spending hours locked in a garage making a car. No, it was, it was really good. And building your own car helps you when you have to fix it. You know what's where, how to do it, and how to get around the things that have gone wrong. I'm sure building these machines is an absolute hoot, but it is called low-cost racing after all, so let's race. <laughs> I'm away, but at the worst start in the world, this car is just overtaking me. How does that happen? Oh, God, here we go. First corner paddock. In third, leave it in third. I've got the inside line. I'm being pushed from the back. Sod it, I'm going down his inside. Out the way, Governor! I'm coming through. Having qualified a dismal 24th, I needed to get my toe down big style to save Tim any embarrassment. But I didn't have the same straight line oomph for some, so what I lacked in speed, I had to make up for in commitment. So, I've just hit someone. Good, fine, move, shifty, vamoosh. Get out of my way. Third into the house, sod you, I'll take you around the outside of clearway. Get out of the bloody way and learn to drive around corners. Good girl, Victoria. She's got one. She's going to take the inside line up into Druid. Yes, we are going three abreast into Druid. And I've almost locked up, regained it, but I've got two places. Oh, go the girl. Oh, this is such a giggle. Oh, I can't believe how competitive everybody is. Oh, come on! Come on! Halfway, I'd moved into 16th spot, but I wasn't stopping there. Challenged in the straight line speed department, I put all my faith in a late braking manoeuvre. My God, what a f monster! I hope the boys got that on video. Uh, they did. <clears throat> Oops. These brakes are a bit lethal. I do apologise to everyone. Sorry. I finally finished 14th and got a little excited. Oh, my God! Wicked! Now, all I had to do was to reunite Tim with his slightly battle-scarred car. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Now, it? It's... It'll polish out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. Don't worry about that. It's only body work. <sighs> That's nothing. Bloody good race. Bloody good race. Oh, it's mega. I'm very chuffed. 
The winner looked pretty chuffed too. And it's all for love. There's no prize money. Low-cost racing probably means nothing to Bernie Eccleston, Michael Schumacher or anyone in F1. And that's because you can race one of these, you can overtake and even win. How refreshing, how low-cost. Crikey, Mike, the whole back of the car's gone. OK, that was two litres of petrol. It felt like 270 litres. Stone and crow. The Capri gets you back in touch with the basics of how cars handle. And don't just take my word for it. Throughout his career as an F1 driver, the car that Tiff had sitting outside his home was a Ford Capri. Even Plato...